Hello guys, today I want to talk about raw SQL queries in Laravel. Based on pretty old Stack Overflow posts that I've googled, the problem is, for example, you have a really long and complicated SQL query like this, with subselects, with union all, with quite a long text in general, and the question by that author was how to perform that in Laravel Query Builder or Eloquent, how to transform this query. And my point here is that you don't have to transform it. It's totally fine to run SQL queries in Laravel with raw SQLs. You just need to be aware of two things. And let me show them in this video. So I asked my colleague Modestas to prepare that demo project. And this is the essence of what I wanted to show you. DB select and inside you can do whatever. Select raw SQL without any eloquent syntax, without anything exactly as it was on Stack Overflow post with one difference. And this is important thing for security. You need to use question marks with parameters. So don't put anything like request ID or something like that. That would be a huge security issue. If you have parameters with raw queries, put them with question marks as in this example, and then with other question marks, you provide the array of parameters as a second parameter of DB select. So this is where DB select ends. And then in another array, we provide all the values for all the parameters. The result of that is just dump query. And this is actually what gets returned. I'm not even sure if the data is correct. That doesn't really matter. What matters is you get the results without any eloquent syntax and you get them all in one query, which is probably the best in terms of performance. So the first thing I want you to remember is for security, if you do use raw SQLs, use the parameters with question marks. The second part and probably the drawback of using raw queries is what you select is what you get. Exactly. You get the array. So it's not an eloquent collection. You don't get any relationships. You cannot use any eloquent things like accessors, mutators, collection methods and stuff like that. Of course, you can transform the array into collection just by using collect method afterwards. But in general, if you want to use eloquent relationships later or something like that, then you could consider transforming that raw SQL query into eloquent or into query builder. But my overall point of this video, if you have a long SQL query already ready for you, prepared for you from, for example, earlier version of the project, like for example, if you update the legacy PHP project into Laravel, or maybe even not PHP project into PHP and Laravel, you may have SQL queries as part of that, and you may leave them as they are. It's often not worth spending the full day trying to translate raw SQL queries, complex queries into eloquent. Maybe you have other suggestions. Have you ever encountered the task of writing raw SQL and transforming SQL query into eloquent? How did it go for you? Share your experience in the comments. And as a final note, if you do care about eloquent performance and you use eloquent, I have quite a lot of things for you on Laravel daily premium course about performance alone. And then I'm proud particularly of this article about optimizing eloquent quite a big one, but there are also free videos like these. You can see on the screen, I will link that page of tech eloquent performance in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.